Hello everyone, and welcome to this first video in our new series about migrating content to Prismic. I'm Lucy from the Developer Experience team, and in this video, we'll see what are the four main steps we recommend you to go through to successfully migrate your content over to Prismic. But quickly before that, what's Prismic? Prismic is a headless CMS that allows you to build your own page builder to enable your marketing team and build websites that grow. So let's get into it. To migrate to Prismic, you have multiple tools at your disposal. On one side, you have APIs to ingest content in Prismic. You have the Migration API. It's the main API we'll use to create documents in a Prismic repository. Then we have the Asset API. This one handles anything assets, from images to videos and PDFs. But using APIs as is is never so straightforward, so we also provide you with SDKs to consume them. First of all, we have Prismic Client. This is the main SDK at Prismic to create web apps. And in the case of migrating to Prismic, it provides us with utilities to discuss with both the migration and asset API. Finally, we have Prismic Migrate. This is a library of helpers oriented toward migration use cases, which we will also make use of. Those tools enable us to migrate to Prismic, and here's our recommended process to follow for successful migration. First of all, let's create a Prismic repository. A Prismic repository is like a content bucket. This is where all our data will live within Prismic, and this is where we want to migrate our data to. Once our repository has been created, we need to initialize it on our code project. To do so, we can just grab this command right here and pass it in our terminal. In my case, because I started from a starter, it will first download the starter and then proceed to install Prismic inside it. Namely, it will install Slice Machine, Prismic developer tool that we will need later on to move forward. So this process takes like a, some time to complete, but like we're almost done here. Right now it's like pushing like some types to Prismic. Uh, you don't need to understand all of that, but it's almost done. And once it's done, we should have a Prismic repository and a code project ready for us to develop from. So here we just say no to starting size machine yet, but I can now go inside my project and here I have like a Next.js project configured and set up with size machine inside it. Our first step is about defining our content models in size machine. You might be familiar with WordPress advanced custom field plugin or Drupal's fields API module. In Prismic, this is all pretty similar to those and is about describing the shape our content will have once in Prismic. To start size machine, let's just run npm run size machine inside our project and we should start up size machine that we can open right here. And here we can do our content models. If you want to deep dive into content modeling with Prismic, we have a video for you in the description. For the sake of this video, let's just keep it really simple and I will do it quickly without explaining much. So we'll create a quick post uh, page type. We'll name it post. I will remove the SEO metadata tab and I will just add a quick title, uh, an image uh, for the thumbnail. Then we will also add a link to the offer, a quick publish date, and finally our post body. So this is all for our post type. Then we'll create another offer type, and this one will just have the offer name, and we'll delete also the SEO and metadata tab. And from here, we can just push all of that to Prismic and that will be all we need for today. But really, one piece of advice regarding content modeling is for you to take your time when doing it because it's much easier to change it at the very beginning of your project than later on when you have a lot of data running on old content models. Also, doing content modeling now is necessary for the migration API to understand the shape of the data you'll feed into it and also comes the extra benefit of generating a bunch of TypeScript types in our project that we'll be able to take advantage of later on when migrating data to Prismic. Once we're done with content modeling, the last step to successfully migrate to Prismic is to write a migration script. 
This migration script will take care of migrating data from your current website to Prismic. But the migration script is a whole topic in itself, so let's cut it here and please check out the next video in our migration series to learn about how to set up your first migration script.